Where Sally Pitts is in Dayville right now, where it all took place. And Sally, this is a somber day in Dayville. The shooting changed this community forever. Four young lives were cut short. Dale Dowdell, Sean Kevia Smith, Corbin Holston, and Marciah Collins died in the shooting at that Sweet 16 birthday party one year ago today. Phil, Marciah, and Sean Kevia were all teenagers. Sean Kevia was just a month away from turning 18 years old. Pastor Ben Hayes from Dayville First Baptist Church joins us now. You knew Sean Kevia, or Kiki as she was called, yeah. and Phil. They had bright futures ahead. How do you remember them? They did. Uh, they were uh, great kids. Uh, Phil was a great athlete. He was a great person. Uh, Kiki was uh, just outgoing, ready to serve anywhere she could. Anybody needed help, she was there. But both of them were bright lights in our community, had bright futures, and uh, we, we really regret the fact that we're not going to see what they could have accomplished in this life. So much promise. So much for promise. For those young lives. Yes. Not only are you a pastor, you're also the chaplain for the football team at the high school and for the police department. How did you help? All those officers, all those students, the teammates of Bills cope with this great loss. Well, the, the thing about being a chaplain is mostly your, your ministry is a ministry of presence. You're there for them to listen as uh, they need to talk. Uh, one of the things that was very helpful is I'm a member of uh, Alabama uh, Law Enforcement Alliance for Peer Support. And so I, I've uh, taken a lot of courses on how to help our officers uh, work their way through post-traumatic stress. and. And that really came in handy with the officers, with our first responders, with our students. And just sitting down, talking with them, telling them what the symptoms were and that what they were experiencing was normal. Uh, and, and that's how we, we, we ministered to them. There is a memorial, a celebration of life taking place tonight at Dadeville High School. What will it include? And how important is it in the grieving and healing process? Yes, at 6.30 we'll meet at the football field and we'll join together with some uh, music and a message from Pastor Justin Freeman, who is the pastor of New Canaan Baptist Church. One of his, uh, uh, one of the students that was killed was his uh, member. And uh, there'll also be a release of uh, Japanese lanterns, just symbolizing the, the fact that we're releasing our, our hurts and our grief into the, the sky, into the hands of God, and, and letting Him bring the healing that we need. You know, it means a lot to those families, to the four victims, that their loved ones are not forgotten. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And again, that memorial gets underway at 6.30 tonight. There are plans for a permanent memorial here in the city of Dayville to honor those four young people who died.